Hey everyone, thank you for uh, looking at this new, brand new video that I'm doing for the channel for J&J &J Toy Giants. Uh, it's a new segment that we're going to be calling Pick a Card. And what we're going to be doing on this particular segment is uh, not only just uh, doing toys on this channel, but we're also going to be going over like different trading cards that have been out during the years. Uh, anybody will tell you, mom, dad, um, more so the dad or granddad, even your brother, over the years, trading cards have been quite a big thing as far as like hobbyists and uh, being a uh, collection. Uh, and people have always collected baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards. Uh, but then over the years, especially when I was a kid, it actually went into like, you know, different genres of trading cards, such as comic books, um, movies when a special movie came out i know like when uh for instance batman in 1989 they actually issued all these types of trading cards teenage mutant Ninja turtles and etc so that's what we're going to be doing on this particular segment of the j and j toy giants and it's going to be called pick a card and we're going to be doing some more videos now i also already have some trading cards that i've collected over the years and <laughs> recently i've kind of like dusted off the the uh, the dust in the attic and I actually found all of the cars that I've collected and just kind of stopped after a while uh, To do other things mainly just being being a parent because when you're a parent, you know You kind of have to put your stuff to the side, but now that uh, Jade and I have uh, started this channel I've now can actually revisit what I was trying to do before because I want to pass this on to him as well so what I want to do is I want to go over some of the cards that I've already collected. Now, the ones that I've actually collected so far over the years, uh, and I'm still collecting them because I'm not done yet. Um, there was a series of marble trading cards that were um, started in 1990 and then actually still are, are being done now, but they have different series. Now, the series that I used to grow up with, specifically with marble, were the marble series 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then after that, I kind of stopped kind of you know looking after what was the new series now what currently what i have right now in the box is the marvel universe series three and the marvel universe series four and also it branched out a little bit into the x-men trading cards series one two i currently have i believe the series two don't quote me if i'm wrong i'm gonna probably should have googled it before i actually went on the uh on this video but I'm gonna go over some of the cards that I've collected and now what I want to do now is get some gloves because you know if you're as a collector you don't want to smudge them and especially if you're gonna be reselling these cards um, you want to make sure that you have no fingerprints on it now mind you I'm not gonna be able to sell these cards anyway because when I back then when I got these cards I immediately opened them up and you know, at that point, Jaden was, I think, two years old, maybe. So, you know, naturally, he was interested and wanted to touch them. And so, naturally, toddlers and um, kids will always have dirty fingernails and stuff like that, dirty hands. So, I'm not worried about specifically, tr you know, selling them. If someone wants to take them off my hands, you know, whatever. But mainly what I want to do today is to... So the camera doesn't actually pick up, you know, sometimes cameras can pick up some fingerprints and whatnot. So give me just a moment here. I probably should have had this already ready to go by the time that this video started. But you know what? It's brand new. I'm learning. We're all learning. It's all good. And all right. I have big hands, so definitely it's going to take a second. So bear with me for just a moment. Now, also, too, if you are an avid collector of trading cards, feel free to com comment down below and give me uh, some pointers as to, hey, you know, you really should do this. I'm willing to learn. It's all good. My dad always said, if you never stop learning, regardless of what you're doing, the day that you stop learning is the day that, you know, you're really in trouble. But, all right. All righty. So, I'm going to start with the... Marvel's Marvel series three now I got them in a in a bag in a box here um, at I bought them off of Amazon but I got a few of them off of uh, Albany Comic Con that was here a few years back and they pretty much come in this particular 
box. I mean, it's all messed up now because, like I said, it was in the attic, so naturally it got kind of messed up. But um, they were still actually, I was smart enough to put a lot of these back in the package after I opened them up so that I had someone to put them. And I bought all these sleeves that I never got around to putting them in so I could have them in like a little notebook or photo album. But this is basically what it's going to look like here. And just to not get too much glare on the, the box here. And they came in cards like or card packages like this. This actually used to what we call a, a quote unquote bubblegum cards is what they actually used to be nicknamed. Bubblegum card because they would come with cards and then a stick of bubblegum. And you would sit around with your comics or your buddies chewing bubblegum and trading them. And I could see my my wonderful wife and my son coming in. So mind the noise if uh, they come barging in. So I apologize. But just opening up one of these packages so far, I can see I have, uh, whoa, already a, a hologram. That's awesome. So hopefully this is actually not going to be too hard to see. It's a Wolverine hologram card. There we go. You can see it. Not too much glare. And generally, if you're lucky enough to actually buy a lot of these at one point in time when these were out, you would allow yourself to get one of these. And there's a few. I actually have a checklist that I have to take a look to see well, how many hologram cards there were. But uh, with the Marvel Ser Series 3, not only did they have, like, superheroes and then supervillains, but then they also had a segment... Oh, hi. Say hi, Jaden. Hi! You just came back from the park? <laughs> yes. All right, well, since you're already here, why don't you just come right around here, and we can be in, we can be in the video together. All right. All what right. were you talking about? I'm talking about trading cards that Daddy used to collect uh, when you were little. And so... Open Yeah, you, you want to put on some gloves, so that way if you want to hold some of the cards... So, but as I was saying, they had superheroes and then supervillains, and then they had um, these team-ups where over the time during comics, you would see certain villains um, and certain superheroes team up. Mostly the ones that they were covering on these cards were the team-ups. And so this one, you can see The Thing and The Incredible Hulk. team up and on the back of the card you'll see something like this and it'll explain it's hard to focus so it'll explain exactly sometimes fighting together as allies sometimes as bitter adversaries which was very documented Hi. Um, see here the outcome had been different every time the green goliath and the ever-loving blue-eyed thing have gotten together with all the changes they've done, they've gone through, no one can predict what will happen when these titans meet again. Just stand back and get out of their way. Now, they they also, just to kind of document to make sure that this is actually not make-believe, they also document on when they first encountered. So, in this, in this case, it's really can hard to focus. And I'll tell you. Um, it says, Fantastic Four, number 25, April 1964. Can I hold one of the cards? Oh, one second here. Let me see. Maybe I should have turned it around. Let's see if you could focus, but I'm not sure if you'd be able to see that. But uh, here, don't be very, very careful. Don't bend it or anything like that. But yeah, you can see that. And then they would come, like I said, with superheroes. And in this particular pack that I opened up, um, Nova from the Nova Corps, which was highly referenced in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Here. Thank you. Which they are also going to be, uh, if you saw any of the San Diego Comic-Con uh, reveals, uh, no, I, or I think it was D23 that they revealed their Marvel Phase 4. Um, they're gonna, he's going to be getting his own movie. And then they have another one of Archangel. That was another one. And everyone loves the X-Men. So, biggity bam, I have Storm. Yeah. Who, not so many people know that in the comics, she actually ended up marrying Black Panther. And someone who's also going to be 
getting his own movie or TV series, I think, Moon Knight, which is the Marvel's kind of version of Batman. And also, the Eternals are going to have their own movie. Then they also had a cosmic being. So they had superheroes, um, super villains, and uh, then they had the cosmic beings on this series. In this case, these are the Celestials. And they are actually going to be in Marvel movies, uh, Eternals, the Eternals. So the Celestial is going to be on here. Um, then you'll have a lot of the um, more obscure cosmic beings that people might not know. In this case, this one is Stranger. That's his name. All right, be careful with that one. And this one, uh, I actually read a lot of the, about this one when I was a kid, Eternity. There you go. And so that's with this particular uh, pack here. So I'm going to put this back and open up another pack, and then we'll go into the next series. Daddy, after this, do you want to do another video? Yeah, we're going to do another video because we're going to re reveal... A new thing that I actually ended up picking up yesterday from the video that I posted yesterday um, or this morning rather from yesterday that we found at Ollie's so stay tuned for that one and so let me see here so we'll get this open up this pack that I had and this again this is the Marvel series 3 all right and then also they've um, documented some different battles or they call it wars that they've had so in this case anyone has any seen in the movies recently which i believe i love avengers endgame and this all has to do with the infinity gauntlet war which is the actual title of the, the comic infinity gauntlet here we go And the Kree versus Scroll war, war, Kree versus Scroll, which was documented in Captain Marvel, the movie. Kree versus a Scroll. And they also had rookies. So at that time, when they when they did these uh, these trading card series, they had newer superheroes or supervillains mostly I think superheroes that they were rookies at because the, they were brand new so this is strong guy who ended up being on X-Force or X-Factor X-Force or X-Factor uh, X-Factor there we go and of course then they had a Super villain that I know a lot of people are familiar with, especially if you follow Wolverine or X Men, Sabretooth. That's a really good one. All right. And then with this particular one that I opened up, there's a team up, another team up one Spider Man and the Punisher. Ooh. Good pull. This one is Gambit. It's part of the X-Men. All right, so we're going to put this away, and then we're going to open up a Marvel Series 4. And then I'm going to go into the X-Men trading cards, which I actually took them all out of the package, and they were actually put them in these types of, like, collector's uh, tin, you know, just so you can take them with you. They actually use them for decks for magic and uh, Pokemon cards, but I put them in there. So let me put this in here. And we're going to do that in the next video, bud. So just hold on to that. All right, so this is the Marvel Series 4. They would come in these particular packages here. Skybox is the company that made these. And they, they actually did something really cool um, 
because at that point people were actually getting these sleeves in a book like I, I mentioned earlier where they would actually have you can put them in a sleeve and then I book and you can have a page and page and page rather than each individual they had the same thing but you would actually you'd be even more um, eager to, to get the next pack because each card would be part of a, a whole page of like a battle so like in this case these were superheroes. This is Thor. And it would show on also, too, that I should have went over on the um, the other series, too. They would have their stats. So, like, in this case, with Thor, his strength out of a 10, his strength is 7, durability 6, fighting ability 4, energy projection 6. So that's basically his stats. And then you would put it against other cards and it could be superheroes or supervillains that would go together like this one is Galactus alright and of course they would have the same kind of thing that I told I talked about in the for the other uh, series the famous wars or famous battles in this case it was Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six which I'm sure they're going to in incorporate into the um the new Spider-Man movie when, if and when they make it, since now Spider-Man is no longer in the MCU. Um, this, this is a cool one. Psylocke, she's part of the X-Men. And they also went into Origins as well. They would have specific origin cards that are say Origins. You look on the back and they would actually give you a brief description of how they came to be. In this case, this one was the Origin of Cable which was heavily uh, documented in the uh, Days of Futures Past uh, because Cable goes back in time. All right, and so that got a lot of doubles here as well. That's what you actually tend to, to have a lot. That's why they call it trading cards because if you get a lot of doubles, you can trade them with your friends, hence the name trading cards. And... You know, whatever you don't have, whatever you do have, you can trade them because somebody somebody might not have the same ones that you have, and you trade them around, get what you need. Sometimes you'd have to, it's kind of like the, almost the old school of eBay, you know, or doing trades because some people would just, you have to trade three or four just to get that one, you know what I mean? Because it might be so super rare. And so this one was the X-Men cards here. Stay with us in just a moment. I'm just going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right with you. All right, so we're back, and now we're going to go over the new um, cards that I've uh, just pulled out of my little tin here that they're actually not new, but they've been in pretty good uh, condition because, I, like I said, I put them in here, and I never took them out. But these X-Men trading card series, specifically these cards were um, having to deal with the animated series that was on Fox and the X-Men universe, not necessarily Marvel, because it isn't Marvel, but specifically anything that had to really do with the X-Men, specifically. And so, this one, shout out to my boy, Anthony Surly, who I actually bought him, kept his Captain Britain, he's from England, so he loved Captain Britain. Um, I actually bought him some uh, Excalibur and Captain Britain comics that he loved, still has them. And as I was uh, saying before, these cards also documented the X-Men animated series, which was this was uh, part of the, the show from the first episode. And it was uh, Beast Hangs Out. It's pretty cool. And, of course, they also have the supervillains that deal with the X-Men as well. But this one specifically, that's Colossus. And I apologize that they're... they're being read backwards so more than likely next time when i do the next episode i'll probably have to j you probably won't even see me and i'll have to actually be looking down so you can see him correctly but like i said we're all learning here i appreciate you you know bearing with me here and this one is actually one of the super villains and that is pyro it was also part of the brother brotherhood of mutants Let's see here, Ooh, another one, another shot from the animated TV series, Jubilees, when she first uses her powers against the Sentinel. And remember when I uh, showed you on the Series 3, uh, Strong Guy, he is part of X-Factor, and boom, 
the group, X Factor, which consists of Strong Guy. Let's see here. Let's see if they say anything. No, it just says X Factor versus Mr. Sinister and Nasty Boys. So I know Havoc, which is Cyclops', Cyclops brother, is in here. Um, Strong Guy. Um, I forget her name. Quicksilver was in this group as well. And let's see if I have her here because she's part of it. Um, Wolf's, I think her name is Wolfsbane. And Polaris. Polaris is also part of X Factor. But I think the other one that I was looking at was Wolfsbane. That's her name. His or her name. And boom. Wolverine. Got that one here. And so these are pretty much the X-Men series trading cards here. And I, that will actually be the end of this particular video. And like I said, I'm going to be still collecting these and see which ones I do or don't have. I actually have a checklist that I can go over. But comment down below if you have any um, you know tips of how we can do this better. We want to make sure that we're pleasing all of our viewers. Stay tuned for another video of a specific thing that I specifically got into finally after all these years that all my friends that are collectors and stuff like that have been saying, hey, you really need to get into this. And so thank you so very much. Be sure to comment and like down, um, down below and subscribe. Thank you so very much. <laughs>